Hey guys, welcome to AI Addict. Today, I'm here again with Aptera, which if you're unfamiliar, is a three-wheeled solar electric vehicle that's capable of harnessing 40 miles a day from the sun using these solar panels right here on the car. And the model behind me is gonna be capable of 400 miles, and they tease that in the future, they'll have a model that's capable of 1,000 miles. So if you wanna know more about this vehicle, stay tuned, because we're about to dive in and see everything that makes this one unique. Not only is the design of Aptera unique, but also the way they chose to manufacture the vehicle as well. Aptera has partnered with CPC, which is a world leading Italian manufacturer of carbon fiber parts. They usually work with Lamborghini and other high exotic brands. They and Aptera are pressing the carbon fiber instead of weaving it. That way they can press out body panels at a much quicker weight than those who have to weave it. The vehicle comes equipped with North America charging standard right behind the license plate. So all I do is have to move this around and boom, there's a Tesla charger and I can go ahead and use a supercharger once they open it up to all vehicle brands. Additionally, if I wanna get in the trunk of the vehicle, it's very unique. I can just, and all of a sudden, the trunk opens all on its own. And not only that, but it's very spacious, like the bed of a truck. So in theory, I should be able to just hop right into the vehicle. And then I can lay down and have a very roomy and comfortable time while being completely spread out. I can even put my arms out in between the seats. It's absolutely incredible. What car allows you to do this that's not an SUV? And just like that, I can hop out and go home and I can add the added on tent for when I go camping because man, that was comfortable and roomy. The interior of the Aptera is as unique as the exterior. In front of you, you have a beautiful yoke steering wheel that feels great in your hands. In front of that, there are two screens that show you your left mirror and your right mirror in replacement of actual physical mirrors. In addition to that, there's a 15 inch display in this gamma model, but in the production intent, it'll be a 12.8 inch model that will get over the air software updates similar to a Tesla. The interior of this is gonna be a little different than the production intent because production intent renderings on the website do show a beautiful overarching armrest with beautiful cup holders underneath. Whereas this model does show corkboard, pineapple leather, and fiberglass. Additionally, in this beautiful display, I'm able to actually control the ambient lighting in the vehicle simply by touching it. I can control the windows up and down simply by touching the display as well. If I come over to the far right, I push a button and see the solar output that the solar panels are generating. In fact, the solar panels are integrated into the dash and the front hood of the car. Additionally, you have music, your fan, your navigation, and other various options. The very top left is where you handle your gear selection. If I go into a reverse, you'll see that the rear view mirror is actually digitalized. On the left is your typical rear view mirror style feed. However, on the right, what you would typically see if you had a normal mirror. So now if I go ahead and go into drive, it does automatically adjust to see as if it's a digital rear view mirror camera without actually being a mirror. With that, let's see how it drives. All right, here we are. We're in the Aptera Gamma prototype. And my first impression so far of driving this vehicle is, wow, it is quite smooth in here. Certainly one of the first giveaways I get while driving this vehicle is the amount of people that look at you when you're on the road. Almost every single vehicle is slowing down to see us or just to take pictures. Viewers at home were asking us how this vehicle handles in something similar to like, let's say a moose test because this vehicle does have only one wheel in the back. Is it nimble? Is it stable? Now we're gonna quickly accelerate up to 25. We're now at 20. Two miles an hour, we're turning the wheels. It feels very, very nimble. Now, we are going to test the wind noise and road noise of this vehicle. The vehicle does have no noise dampening, but the Delta prototype production intent model should have that dampening in place. We are going to be going 35 miles an hour for this test. We're doing about 67. For context, this was the reading we got in the Tesla on the same road at the same speed. But you must remember, this Aptera model has no insulation installed. All right, guys, I'm just like absolutely, look at the smile on my face right here. Like this car is very fun and a joy to drive. If you are a viewer at home, I cannot wait for you guys to get your butts in some seats here. Even though it's multiple iterations away from the production intent or actual production model, boy, does it blow me away. The vehicle actually is very easy to move around these parking lots. And I'm going to try and back it in like a Tesla and just see how easy that is for me to handle. Let's find that out. So I'm now gonna put it into reverse and I'm going to turn the steering wheel. I can see behind me in my cameras that, that there is a lane and let's see what happens. Using all my side cameras and my backup cameras, 
I very, very, very easily pulled myself into the spot and it was just as easy and as nimble as driving my Tesla. It is a pretty big vehicle, I still have to say, despite being two persons. It's the most efficient, aerodynamic, and spacious vehicle you can get while getting a two-person form factor on the road while being only 100 watt hours per mile. I like the build quality in this car, I like the ride quality, and I think that you viewers at home are going to very much enjoy it when the Delta production intent vehicle comes out because I think that will blow everyone out of the water. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our Aptera walkthrough. If you enjoyed this content, do make sure to like or subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future content, such as our interview with the CEO of Aptera, Chris Anthony, who spent 15 minutes with us answering all the questions you sent in to us from Twitter. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that incredible content. And again, if you want to buy or pre-order an Aptera, feel free to use our referral code down below for $30 off your order. With our code, it will only be $70, which is fully refundable so hey why not thank you guys so much for watching our video see you next time goodbye